What has Samantha Markle said about her sister Meghan? Why don't they get on and what's the latest? Samantha has been outspoken on the royal wedding and her half-sister Meghan, so what's going on now? The Duchess of Sussex's sibling has been outspoken ever since her engagement to Prince Harry was announced. Here's everything you need to know about the family feud. What has Samantha Markle said about Meghan? November 2016 Samantha first hit out at her famous half-sister after her romance with Prince Harry was revealed. She says Meghan had always fancied Harry because she was ambitious to become a princess, and had a soft spot for gingers. Samantha said the star of U.S. legal drama Suits is a social climber who has barely spoken to her sister since she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2008. April 2017, Samantha announced that she would release her memoirs and that her sister should prepare herself for some home truths. It has been reported by the Daily Star that the working title for Samantha's book is The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. Samantha also revealed exclusively to The Sun that she's planning to star in a reality show which she thinks would make for incredible viewing. October 2017 Samantha had changed her tune by October when she appeared on Good Morning Britain to dismiss the rumor rift, and even described her sister as lovely. November 2017, Samantha was quick to have her say on Meghan and Prince Harry's engagement, speaking to Good Morning Britain the day after the announcement was made. When asked if she had a message for Meghan, Samantha said, I just want to say I love you. I'm incredibly happy for you. Cheers and to a wonderful life. If I had a glass of champagne I would toast, but it's 3 in the morning and we don't drink at 3 in the morning. Speaking from Florida she said, Well, it is true that I'm writing a book and the title is accurate. What is not true, is, this unbelievable swell that's been created that it's some sort of slamming tell-all. December 2017, during a stint as guest editor of the Today program, Prince Harry told the show it's, the royal family, the family I suppose that she's never had. Samantha then wrote on Twitter, actually she has a large family who were always there with her and for her. No one was estranged, she was just too busy. Meg's family, our family, is complete with sister, brother, aunts, uncles, cousins and the glue of our family, our amazing completely self-sacrificing father. She always had this family. Marion merely extends it. January 2018, after Meghan wore a £56,000 designer dress for her engagement photo, Samantha Markle, 53, said, If you can spend $75,000 on a dress, you can spend $75,000 on your dad. Their dad is bankrupt. However, when speaking of the wedding, she added that she was still hoping for an invitation. Despite news about the book, she said, it would be pleasing for us to be there and be invited. But it's entirely her decision. April 2018, she blasted her half-sister on Twitter after claiming to have been snubbed from the wedding while members of the public have been invited. Samantha tweeted, Out of respect and humanitarianism, the Markles should be invited if 2,000 complete strangers are. Our uncle, brother, me, best friend of 30 years. Nephews. Our issue is not a matter of closeness. Family is family. She also changed her Twitter pic to the two of them when they were younger. A week later she turned her attention on the prince tweeting that he needed to man up. She said, it's time to man up at Henry Windsor shoutouts about humanitarianism, don't work when you are allowing Meg to ignore the Markles. It is as contradiction, someone must point out that the emperor is not wearing any clothes. May 2018. May 15th. Samantha gave an interview to Good Morning Britain where she accused the press of being media vultures before Piers Morgan slammed her and accused her of being the biggest media vulture for trading on her very tenuous connection with Meghan Markle. May 15, Meghan's sister featured on a Channel 4 show called Meet the Markles where she told the host her husband is addicted to tabloid stories about Meghan and Samantha, and slammed rumors she was writing a tell-all book. May 16, she blasts Meghan for telling her not to speak referring to comments she made about their father. May 16, The Sun revealed how Samantha slammed reports that Kensington Palace was helping Thomas Markle, the ailing dad of her and Meghan. It was also reported Samantha had been involved in a car crash in the U.S. May 29, Samantha slams Duchess of Sussex's new coat of arms as silly and drawn by someone in kindergarten in bitter Twitter rant. July 2018 Taking to Twitter once again, 
Meghan Markle's publicity-seeking sister labeled the new royal the Duchess of Nonsense and accused Prince Harry of being a wuss for allowing his wife to walk all over him. In an astonishing social media rant, Samantha also said that Harry should have married Cressa de Benes because she is much more like Diana. She tweeted, Harry is a wuss to allow the Duchess of Nonsense to mistreat everyone who has been close to her especially her family. Samantha also claimed that Meghan's supposed embarrassment of her family is totally reciprocal before adding her fake British accent is also ridiculous. Meghan's sister launched another tirade at Meghan after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited art in London dedicated to Nelson Mandela. She posted a series of tweets slating Meghan for spending time paying tribute to others while ignoring their father. Samantha hit out at Meghan for being cold going as far as to blame Meghan should Thomas Markle Sr. die. Samantha tweeted, How about you pay tribute to your own father? Enough is enough. Act like a humanitarian. Act like a woman. If our father dies I'm holding you responsible, Meg. And she continued her tweets, saying, Glad you have so much time to gallivant around paying tribute to others while ignoring your own father. How cold can you be and look in the mirror? Harry, I guess I was right. August 2018 Samantha launched another scathing attack on Meghan, comparing her half-sister to Cruella de Vil. While sharing a story that claimed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were taking a step away from the media spotlight, Samantha wrote, OK so Cruella de Vil is retreating lol. Let me know how that works out for you. Samantha added, there are smoke and mirrors you try to hide things with, but you can't hide from what you see in the mirror. Only a day later, on Meghan's 37th birthday, Samantha took to social media again to criticize the Duchess. The American wrote, Happy birthday Meg. It would be so lovely and appropriate of you to send Dad a belated birthday card for his July 18th th birthday cake emoji, at Kensington Royal Cheers. Most recently, Samantha called Meghan inhumane, following an interview given by their father, Thomas. There would be no just reason for her not to want him in her life, as he was good enough to use to make her everything she is. Samantha wrote. She should be grateful. Her diplomacy skills suck and are inhumane. Freezing people out is the best way of hiding the truth. There is no room for a greedy, arrogant, deceitful fake humanitarian on this world stage. How dare she? Disgusting. Samantha continued, tweeting directly to Kensington Palace. If you treat your own father like this, Harry is next. September 2018. On September 11th, Samantha called Meghan a Dutch ass on Twitter and accused her of fake waves and smiles. Then, on September 24, it was revealed that Samantha was on her way to the UK to have a showdown with her half-sister like it or not. October 2018, Samantha appeared on Jeremy Vine's Channel 5 show on October 1 to apologize to her half-sister but defended her decision to criticize Meghan and said she wanted to get a message across from my father. February 2019, Samantha attacked Meghan as a narcissist after pals tried to stick up for the pregnant Duchess. Markle, who has regularly used social media to criticize her younger sibling, unleashed a string of tweets trashing claims Meghan had tried reaching out to their dad Thomas Sr. Five close friends yesterday revealed Meghan, 37, wrote to Thomas Markle after her wedding, which he had missed, in an attempt to rebuild their relationship. But the former actress was devastated when he responded by asking for a photo shoot with her and did not respond to text messages. After the story was released, Samantha was quick to react, saying, This article is total bulls there are plenty of text messages and receipts to prove otherwise. Stop the PR crap. The American, who said Meghan had liabits also shared a message, saying, When a narcissist has lost control over you, they try to control how others see you. She then added, and if the narcissist is wealthy they pay very expensive PR teams to change the way people see you. April 2019, Samantha Markle said her sister is jealous of her sister-in-law Kate Middleton. According to Samantha, Meghan has been using her designer wardrobe to remain center of attention after constant comparisons between the royal wives' wardrobes. In Quest Red's upcoming documentary Meghan and Harry, A Royal Baby Story, Samantha, who shares dad Thomas Markle with the Duchess of Sussex, hits out at her fashion choices. The 54-year-old American says, I believe that there is a jealous streak in Meg, 
She does like to be the center of attention and I feel like that is what is going on now. Was Samantha Markle invited to the royal wedding? Samantha was not invited to the royal wedding. In an interview with Channel 4 show Meet the Markles she said, There are some members of the family who have an air of entitlement about even a wedding invite. I don't understand why we didn't get one but I don't expect or demand one. It has previously been reported that Samantha and Meghan have not spoken for the past decade.